Today I'm reviewing and testing the X77 Apollo LED headlight upgrade. It is a follow-up to the X77 Aurora, which was wildly bright and blew everyone, including myself, away with its output. So how does the Apollo compare? And why do I say it might actually be dangerous? Well, stick around, because I'm going to show you. Hello everyone and welcome back to Car Light Reviews. I say welcome back because a lot of you have been here before, but if you haven't, I perform consistent automotive light tests to help you make the best purchase decision, enjoy your car better, and save you money. You can't beat that, right? Well today, here we have the X77 Apollo. Now ever since I did my review and test video of the impressively bright X77 Aurora, which was the brightest LED headlight I tested at the time, you guys have been asking me to see how the Apollo stacks up. Well, this is the video that you want. And like my other LED headlight videos, I'm going to do an introduction, an unboxing, go over the published specs and cover the features, and then I will test the brightness and light pattern for both projector and reflector housings to see how it performs. Speaking of previous videos, in my Aurora test video, I mentioned a little bit about X77's history and how they started selling LED upgrades in 2013, eventually opened a physical store in Anaheim, California in 2020, where they also offer installations, and they've got a variety of choices when it comes to LED lighting upgrades. Plus, they have free ground shipping nationwide and Canada, not including any Canadian import taxes. Now, overall, I think they're a pretty cool company, and I'm excited to test this light, and I'll get started with unboxing it. Now, before I even get to the box contents, in case you didn't see this in the Aurora video, right there, tested before shipping, who tested it? I think this is pretty cool. Not every company does this. And also, what didn't come in the box, but what did come in the package, that's right, Skittles again. Plus, every now and then, they throw in bonus freebies, which they did with me. They must really like me, because they sent me some T10 Amber Bulbs, a cool can koozie, and some... What are these here? Oh, more T10 bulbs of a different style. And you can also buy these on the X77 website. I don't know if everybody gets them, but apparently they like me, because they sent me some freebies. So, I'll eat the Skittles later, and maybe... I'll install these later on something and maybe even do a test on these in the future. If you want me to see me do T10 or 194 bulb testing in the future, let me know. I might consider it. Now, let's see what's inside here. I got uh, a cool X77 sticker. I always love bonus stickers. Warranty card. Quick product introduction, but it's overall pretty straightforward and simple. This is plug and play. Replace the factory bulb and install this one. All right, let's take a look at the actual unit here. If I can get it out. Come on now. There we go. So now that we got it out of the box, let's talk about the published specifications. 60 watts each, 6,000 lumens each, color temperature of 6,500K. The chip is X77 customized CSP chips. It does have an adjustable collar. It is cooled by a fan with an external driver. The warranty is two years on all of their products, and the price at the time of this video, before any discounts, is $109.99 per pair. And that's before any discounts. Pretty standard stuff. We'll get to the testing in a minute, but I do want to cover my initial observations. All right, so overall, this is a pretty good looking light like the Aurora. It has an aluminum body, cool design touches like the X here on the fan guard that X77 includes. It's a unique design. It's not 100% repurposed like some lights. There's a lot of premium stuff here. The driver seems very durable, heavy duty. Nothing really cheap about this. Just overall pretty high quality. Now I do want to compare it to the Aurora that has a smaller diameter fan here. So it might be better to fit in smaller spaces. But the question you might have is, well, how does the Apollo test compared to the Aurora? Well, let's find out. And if you haven't seen how I test LED headlights, here's how. For projector testing, I made a test rig using a 2017 Toyota Camry H11 headlight projector. And for reflector testing, I use an H11 headlight from a 2018 Ford F-150. I use these specifically because they are among the best-selling vehicles in America for over 20 years and are the most common on the road. I'll power the lights using a benchtop power supply, and I'll position the lights hotspot onto a lux meter that is 20 feet away, mounted on my garage door. I'll record the initial brightness and then again after 27 minutes to document how well the light manages heat. I use 27 minutes because that's the average commute time in the United States. My tests aren't for lux number accuracy, but for comparison to a stock H11 halogen bulb, which measures 725 projected lux and 910 reflected lux using my test method. 
Different tests and different environments will give you different results. So if you want to do the same tests of your own, I list all of the equipment I use in the description of this video. Also, don't forget to check the description of this video for important notes on how to aim headlights, how to ensure you've picked the right headlight for your application, and the legality of replacing halogen headlight bulbs with LED lights like this one. And before I get to my testing, I gotta mention, it takes me many hours to make each LED review video, like the one you're watching right now, from setting up the test, to recording the output, to compiling the data, and editing the video, and answering the great questions that you all post in the comments. Now this is in addition to the cost of the product and the equipment that I use to test it. So if you found this video helpful, valuable, or entertaining, I'd like to ask you to help me make more of them. Just like this one, click on the thumbs up, Click on the thanks icon directly to support this channel and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell if you haven't already. And you can visit my Patreon page to learn how you can support this channel for as little as a dollar a month and possibly get some cool Carlite Reviews goods in return. And I do want to say thanks to my newest Patreon supporter, Sup John. In addition to Kyle, Rico, and Dan, guys, thank you so much for helping me make more videos and supporting Carlite Reviews. Now, doing any of what I mentioned will make my day only takes a minute. So now, Here's what you've been waiting for. Let's see how the X77 Apollo did in my projector and reflector tests. Starting with the projector, pretty bright as you might expect. 2,230 lux. That's 1,505 over the halogen 725 lux measurement. Now lights are just getting brighter and brighter with each video that I test, at least from an initial standpoint. And once again, X77 is taking the crown for the brightest LED headlight I have tested so far for initial light output. And like all lights this bright, this must be aimed correctly and make sure that your vehicle's light housing can handle the amount of light this one puts out or you will blind oncoming traffic, which is dangerous for them and you. However, that brightness did fade because after 27 minutes, the average commute time in the US, it retained 72% of that light output resulting in 1,608 lux over time, 883 over halogen, and just a few lux less than my current overall brightness leader, the Oxbeam GX. So like the Aurora, this light is being driven really hard to get that initial brightness, but it doesn't seem to be driven quite as hard because it does have better light retention percentage over time. Now, let's look at the projector light pattern compared to stock. Again, like the Aurora, for it being that bright, it still controls the light pretty well. Nothing's really jumping out at me of concern, and the common weak spot right here isn't terrible at all. It does seem that the light band is on the slightly narrow side, at least when it comes to the vertical dimensions, but this might be dependent on your particular headlight housing. So as always, use and aim with caution. Now, let's take a look at how the reflector does. Well, it's not surprising that my reflector test results in a pretty high number, 4,850, which is 3,940 over the halogen 910 lux. Once again, this is the brightest LED headlight that I've tested so far for initial light output. And after 27 minutes, keeping that 72% of the light output over time, it is reduced to 3,493 lux, 2,583 over halogen. And once again, we have a new brightness leader for both initial reflector output as well as over time. Congrats, X77. Speaking of which, let's see how well it controls the light compared to halogen. Now, I think we can do better for reflector housing. As you can see, we're losing control of the light here and here. And this is what I reference often. Some light housings just can't handle higher output LED upgrades. Yes, it is bright, but we might be pushing the test housing to the point where the light is not usable and edging towards dangerous. Now, I can't stress this enough. If you insist on using this light in a reflector, you must make sure your housing can handle it and you must aim this light as accurately as possible or you will blind people, putting you and them in danger. In other words, listen, <laughs> Don't be that a-hole driver that makes everyone else who upgrades their headlights responsibly look bad. Now, as mentioned, there is a published rating of 60 watts per light. I observed 55.6 on my bench. For heat management, after 27 minutes of runtime, the average commute time in the United States, my FLIR thermal camera recorded 296 degrees Fahrenheit or 147 degrees Celsius for the main unit and 115 degrees Fahrenheit or 46 Celsius for the driver. Now, for comparison to the X77 Aurora, the Apollo runs a little bit cooler, and that might explain the higher retained output over time. And by the way, if you want to compare all the specifications of all the lights I've tested, I put a link in the description to a free spreadsheet that I update with every video release. Check it out. It'll really help you decide what is best for you. 
If you're watching this video, you might want to know how the Apollo compares to the Aurora that I previously tested, and is it worth the extra 10 bucks? While the Apollo isn't significantly brighter than the Aurora in my testing, it is still a little bit brighter both initially and over time. Now, what I suggest that you consider to be more important is the percentage of output retained over time. The Aurora is 67%, but the Apollo is a bit better in that department with 72% and it has slightly better heat management. This means that with the Apollo, you get more light over time and potentially better longevity. Now, while you can't go wrong with either one, is the Apollo worth the $10 upgrade from the Aurora? In my book, yes, for a projector. For a reflector, that is borderline, so you need to use this one, the Apollo, according to best safety practices. If you already have the Aurora and it works well for you, you can keep it as you probably won't notice the light output difference. And if you're deciding between the two, I'd say skip the Starbucks for a day, get the Apollo. And like the Aurora, the quality of materials, the two-year warranty, and supplied by a company in California that can provide solid customer service with their phone number prominently on their website is a real bonus. As always, links to where you can buy the X77 Apollo are in the description. And if I've got any coupon codes to save you money, I'll include them there as well. I'd really like to know what you think of this light and my suggestions on when you should and shouldn't use it. Feel free to give your honest thoughts in the comments below. Once again, click on the thumbs up, the thanks icon, and be sure to subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already. If you got a suggestion of what I should test in the future, please leave a comment and I'll check into it. As always, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you to find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more and save you money. Keep your headlights aimed, drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully, especially if you use this LED upgrade in a reflector.